I just wanted to come on and just make a couple of mentions about ministerial integrity and primarily in the area of when members leave, there's ministerial integrity that has to be upheld. And sometimes members would leave one church in a community and go to another, and those ministers might see each other on a regular basis. And, and they should check those members and have those members at least get a letter, get something signed or something from their former pastors so that they can bring it to the new one if they're disgruntled or whatever. Or if a minister sees one member from another place and he knows the pastor or those those people who left he needs to find out if they left properly you know were they mad where did they leave throwing pots and pans and cursing and everything or did they leave properly uh, because it's just simply not integrity when members leave one place going to another and the ministry at the new place receiving them doesn't say anything now, those are some things that, you know, it depends on a whole lot of uh, details in this here. But really, that's just simply a, a ministerial integrity. Also, on the area of stewardship as well, there's a, if a minister does not know how to run his house, how can he run the church? And when ministers write bad checks, that's not integrity. Uh, giving to another minister or to a church, that's not integrity when you start to see patterns like that either. I'm just addressing a couple of issues right here concerning ministerial integrity. And I've seen in many communities, the ministers all get together with the public officials, with the police department and the city council, and they all come together to try to curb the ills of the community. And after it's all said and done, and there are no longer officials around, it's just the minister's responsibility to continue working these projects in the community, you find out that it might have been just one minister really trying to just gain himself a platform. That's not ministerial integrity. If the cause is to help the community to curb crime and just minister and witness to souls out there and just change the structure of the community for righteousness sake, then that's where well, that ought to be the purpose and that ought to be all they're doing. Not so that one can get claim uh, and a fame from the, from the city mayor and the city council and things of that sort. So these are, these are just some things concerning ministerial integrity. That's not integrity. Let's just do the work of God. Serve God. Love one another. Always consider your brother. Always consider another minister in the community as well. Pray for each other's churches. There's no competition. There's no one big church or better church. We're all one in Christ Jesus. And everybody needs to just hold their own and do what they're called to do. So I just wanted to address the subject of ministerial integrity, and that's all. So we just need to stay on point and do the right thing and make sure our motives are right. And if you'd like to just continue to uh, hear some of these blogs from me, click, the, uh, click where it says subscription, subscribe to, so that we can continue corresponding. Thank you so very much.